Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to calculate wattage. I'll be going over the process for calculating wattage with easy steps in this simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. So first and foremost, what is a watt? Okay, so one watt, one watt is what we're going to be talking about to start off. So one watt is actually the amount of work being done at the rate of one joule per second, okay? So one watt is basically amount of work being done at a rate of one joule per second. It's a measurement of work being done, okay? Now a 60 watt, so a 60 watt light bulb, for instance, is using 60 joules per second, is working at a rate of 60 joules per second, okay? So just so you understand where we're coming from in terms of calculating wattage, there's a very, very simple formula <clears throat> that can be used to calculate wattage, okay? So I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be putting it up here. We have watts, hopefully this will fit. We have watts is equal to volts times amps, okay? Now these are all measurements. So watts, the amount of watts that you have in a unit is gonna be equal to the amount of volts times the amount of amps, okay? Very, very simple. That's how you're gonna calculate it. And then there's also resistance that you can use separately, but this is, this is just a basic calculation. You can go way more advanced. This is just the most simplistic version of the calculation. So watts, which will be W, is equal to volts, which will be V, times amps, which is A. Okay, that's the formula we're gonna use right there. So let's say, the amount of watts is equal to, we have a unit that has, let's say, uh, 120 volts, so it's 120 volts, 120 V, okay? And it also has times five amps, so five A, okay? So the amount of watts on this unit is equal to 120 volts times the five amps that it has, okay? So the amount of watts is going to be equal to 120 times five. If we do 120 times five, it gives us an answer of 600. So this unit will have a wattage of 600, okay? So 600 watts would be the wattage of, of something that has 120 volts and five amps because you're multiplying them together. Um, and that is essentially it. <clears throat> now, voltage and amperage are, are two completely separate things in terms of uh, how to calculate them because you can, they're separate, but they're easy to do because you can reverse engineer this formula. If you know the watts that something has and you know the volts, you can then reverse engineer to find the amps, okay? And separately, if you know the amps and you know the watts, you can reverse engineer to find the volts. For instance, if I knew that this had 600 watts and it had five amps, I could do 600 divided by five because it's the opposite of multiplied 600 divided by five because it's the op opposite of multiplication and that would give me 120 which is the voltage okay very very simple if i knew it had 600 watts and 120 volts i could do 600 watts divided by 120 volts because it's the opposite uh opposite operations that we're doing there and it would give me five amps very very simple it's how it's done. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And sorry, before I finish, like I said, there are, there's also resistance. There are a few more advanced factors that you can incorporate. But in terms of basic wattage, this is how it's done. And that's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.